So now let's take a look at the Toon Boom Harmony Pencil 2. So the Pencil 2 is over here on the left side. The top one is the selection and the fourth one right over here is the Pencil 2. So once I grab in the Pencil 2, what uh, this is simply used uh, to draw out things in the Toon Boom canvas. So you can use the drawing mode or the camera mode, it doesn't matter. So if I were to draw something, you can see that it actually draws out things right here. And the thing is, this is a vector graphic, so you can zoom in as much as you want. So you can control the pencil properties right over here from the right side. So I can just expand this out and you can see that there are some tools that you, you have on the pencil tool. So you can work around with the size of the pencil tool. If I were to click and drag it, you can see that that's the size and that's the smoothing level that you can apply to the pencil tool right here. So if I were to decrease the smoothing level, so let me just decrease the smoothing level. Uh, you can see that it is not very smooth. But if I were to increase the smoothing level, then it is actually much more smoother in drawing. So you can see how smooth it is. And if I were to really increase it out, it really smoothens out everything else. So that's smoothing and that's the size right over here. So different types of, um, uh, of lines are actually accessible from this area right here. So let me just uh, delete all of them. So let me just select all of these and delete them out. So let me go back to pencil tool and over here, let's see different types of lines. So uh, this is the regular pencil as you can see. So if I were to click and drag it, it's just a regular pencil right over here. If I were to increase the size right over here, you can see that there's no variation over here. But if you are to use uh, something like uh, a tablet, then it is quite pressure sensitive. So depending on how much you press it, the thickness of the line will change as well. There's also fixed thickening. So this is when uh, the tablet press, uh, pressure sensitivity is not um, into play. So you can see that this is fixed thickness right over here. There's the charcoal, which is actually uh, an interesting texture. So you can actually see that this is charcoal texture that you have. There's uh, tapered beginning and the end so you can see that uh, gradually it has it starts with a small line and then increases out further just like this and there's tapering just like this no matter uh, the, this does not depend on the pressure sensitivity but depending on like the size the tapering happens happens all by itself just like this so these are some of the types of uh, presets that you have to start drawing and over here on the bottom, there are some tools over here that you may want to learn. So uh, this one over here is draw behind. So let me use a different color for this one. So I'm going to go over here and expand this out so that I can see the colors. So if I were to take uh, something like this red pen over here, and if I were to draw it, you can see that it is drawn above uh, the previous line right here. So it's drawn above. If I want to draw behind, what I can simply do is I can click on this icon and if I were to click and drag, it seems like it is drawing in front, but as soon as I let go of my mouse, it is actually behind as you can see. So if you want to keep something behind, draw behind, then you can actually use this. So this one right here is the fill. So if I were to draw something over here like a circle, you can see that it is as it is. But if I were to actually use this and draw something like this, you can see that it immediately fills up any closed space with color. It does not fill up open space. It has to be a closed space. So it'll fill it out as you can see, just like that. So if you want to have in some color right here, don't want to bother filling it up later, then you can actually use this just like this. So draw behind, fill. So there are some other tools over here as well. So there's line building tool, there's th thickening tool and so forth. Let's look at the uh, auto thickness adjustment. So if I were to actually use this like use the auto thickness tool, click and drag it. You can see that the line certain, the line that I'm drawing over is becoming thicker. If I were to hold shift and then click and drag it, you can see that the line instead of becoming thicker becomes smaller just like this. So this is line thickening tool right over here. So there's line pushing tool. Uh, the other tool is line pushing tool. So if I were to click and drag it, you can see if I were to click and drag it just like this, you can see that a yellow line appears. You can also change the color on which it appears with. So you can see something like red, then it, it, it pushes to the side, as you can see. If I were to draw it on the other side, it pushes it to the other side, as you can see right there. So these are some of the tools that will actually help you while you're drawing. So that is how you can use the pencil tool to draw, in, uh, draw different things. And all of these pencil tools are vector art. So you can see that there's a stroke of line going on right over there. So that'll make it easier to actually grab each and every line just like this, and then rearrange it out according to what you want. So that's 
how you work around with the pencil tool just like that and another thing that you can do while we are using pencil tool is to draw straight lines as well so uh, if I were to just freely draw it you can see that it is just um, a freehand drawing but if I were to hold shift on my keyboard and if I were to click and drag you can see that there's a straight line and as I let go you can see that this is how it looks like let me just select all of these and delete them out so let me just select my uh, pencil tool right over here and I'm going to hold up shift key right here so you can see that it helps me create a bunch of straight lines from the side or from the top just like this so if you want to create something like a straight line then you can use shift so that is uh, how you can use pencil tool inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.